Good evening, good evening, good evening. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. You're listening to Reaching the Masses Media Ministry Nightly Prayer. Saturday Night Prayer. Amen. Hallelujah. I hope your Saturday has been wonderful. It's been a pretty day today. A little warm, not too hot. But I thank God for another Saturday that God has enabled me to see. Hallelujah. And I hope you are doing the same. Today's sad report on TV, Jeffrey Epstein um, committed suicide. So, you know, the only thing we can do now is pray for his victims that the Lord will heal him. Um, We don't know what's going to happen because they still got an investigation to do. And they have a list that's so long. So just pray for this whole fiasco because, ugh, my God. Anyway, um, we're coming to you tonight from, again, Matthew 7. And this time it is the 12th verse, the 7th chapter, the 12th verse. And if you go back over the ones for this week, then you will see the other ones that we have had. But this one tonight seems to fit what went on in the news today. Actually, it seems to fit the world today completely because we forget that all of us are human beings. Ooh, glory, hallelujah. And that you don't treat a human being in any kind of way, you know? They're human, made in the image and likeness of God, just like you were. But we're getting ready to play the Matthew chapter 7, 12th verse. Hold on for a second. Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. All right. In other words, you treat men the way men or women, mankind, the way you want to be treated. Amen. Do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. This is the law of the prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. I heard that all my life. Do unto others. It says whatsoever you want man, how, whatever way you want man to treat you is the way you treat them. For this is the law of the prophet. Because, see, there's another saying out there, too. What goes around comes around. Amen. Hallelujah. That's called the law of reciprocity. Or as we said back in the day, oh, what was it? I can't think of the word. It went out of my head that, 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 that fast. But if it comes back, I'll say it. But do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Think about it before you do it. Do I want someone to treat me this way? Before you say that word to somebody that you know is going to hurt them, Think, do I want to hear someone say this to me? Before you go and smack somebody, think, do I want somebody to smack me? Before you take up a gun and try to kill somebody, or whatever it is that's against God's rules that you're getting ready to do to somebody, if you're not getting ready to love them, I mean the agape love, hallelujah. Ask yourself, do I want somebody to do this to me? Because, believe me, what you put out is what's going to come back. The law of reciprocity. What a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Do unto others the way you want them to do unto you. Let us go before the throne of grace tonight. Thank you all for coming out tonight. And hearing this, um, is this live? Not live. 
Okay, it's a recording tonight, so this will be in the archive. But when you hear it, remember to do unto others. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Amen? Because payback is... Mm, yeah, that was a saying that we used to say. I'm not going to say what payback is, because I don't say words like that. But I remember my mom said, Girl, you don't want to do that, because payback is a... Mm-hmm. Anyway, mm, I'll just put it this way. A female dog. You know what they call female dogs, right? Enough said. But do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. Treat others the way you want to be treated. If you want to be loved, then you love others. You want to be forgiven, then you forgive others. Amen. Hallelujah. And remember, forgive anyway and walk in love. Because if you don't, when you don't, you block your blessings. Amen. And you're looking for God to bless you, and you're walking in unforgiveness. Hey, sister, brother, won't happen. Because he is not going to crawl over your unforgiveness just to bless you. Because if you can't forgive your brother or your sister, then how are you going to call yourself a child of God. Amen. You block your own blessing. But do unto others as you would have them to do unto you. For this is the law of the prophets. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for another night that you have allowed us to come before your throne. Hallelujah. Asking you to have mercy. Hallelujah. Lord, on that man's soul, on Brother Epstein. And yeah, I call him brother because he was made in the likeness and the image of God too. Hallelujah. I don't know what happened before he died. But Lord, I ask you to have mercy on his soul. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And those that are survivors of all the stuff that he did, Lord, comfort them. Hallelujah. Though he's passed away and gone on to his just reward, Lord, those that are living are still scarred, Lord. Hallelujah. And they still live through the horrors every night. Hallelujah. The, the, the thoughts and everything of what they went through. Lord, we ask you to comfort them and allow them. If they're not yawn, allow them to come to you. Hallelujah. Cry out, what must I do to be saved? And Lord, when they do that, you will heal them. You will take every negative thought, every pain, everything away. And they'll be able to forgive all of those that did them harm, and they will be able to walk in love as they learn you. Father, that's what we have to do. In order to see you in the rapture, we have to forgive and walk in love. So all of those, hallelujah, including myself, who had hard feelings against that man when we first heard that, Lord, forgive us, because we forgive him, and we walk in love, Lord, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Many of us have been hurt over the years through one or another, Lord. But, Lord, we ask you to heal. This world needs healing, Lord. Every state, every county, every country. Hallelujah. Every nation, every president, every king, every prime minister. Lord, we need healing. We need your love. We need forgiveness. Hallelujah. Forgiveness is easy. But walking in love is a whole nother thing when you're hurting. But, Lord, we can do it. Hallelujah. When we're your children, we can do it. So me, Lord, I can only speak about me. I forgive and I walk in love, Lord. Hallelujah. Some things hurt sometimes when they come back to your memory. But, Lord, I still, I repeat, I forgive and I walk in love. Because I am determined to see you when you come back. Hallelujah. And that trump sound. And I'm going with you. I'm not going to let unforgiveness, hatred, malice, strife, nothing is going to keep me from going back with you. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask you to bless every ear that's hearing this tonight. This um, August the 10th. Hallelujah. Who this week, this month is passing, isn't it? It's already the 10th, Lord. Hallelujah. But we, this August the 10th, we ask you to bless every ear that's going to hear this, whether it's this year, next year, two years from now. Lord, put a blessing 
on this prayer and anointings on this prayer so that sinner man will cry out, what must I do to be saved? And go give their lives to you, Lord, because the world is getting worse and worse. Well, the people in the world are getting worse. The world is fine. But the people in the world are getting worse and worse every day, Lord. But, Lord, I know you, and you are God. And be, oh, my God, even in spite of what they're doing, you still love them, Lord. But if they make a choice not to serve you, not to give their life to you, after Christ, hallelujah, made a way at the cross for them, then sad is their condition when they cross over from time to eternity. They have a choice, hallelujah. And if they die, then, then they will have to face the consequences. We all have a choice, Lord. You gave us all a choice. Hallelujah. And when we accepted you, when we accepted your redemption, hallelujah, you said we were sealed until the day of redemption. When we made a choice to follow you, hallelujah, you became our God. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We glorify your name. We thank you that you made a place for us. We thank you that you said you went to prepare a place for us so that where you are, there we may be also. And if anyone neglect so great a salvation, hallelujah, if anyone neglect to accept the way that you have made for us, then the choice is theirs. Lord, we thank you and we glorify your name. We ask you, hallelujah, Lord, to bring those wayward children, wayward husbands, wayward wives back home. Hallelujah. Lord, we ask you to guide our footsteps for the rest of the day and all until tomorrow. Lord, we ask you, all of those who are attending services in some sanctuary tomorrow, Lord, we ask you to bless them. Let your anointings and your Shekinah glory be there. And all of those who are on this online service tomorrow, Lord, I ask you to, hallelujah, let your anointings be with it, hallelujah. Let your Shekinah glory fall on it tomorrow, hallelujah. Lord, we realize that everybody don't have a home church, and we realize that there are sick and shut in, and that's what this ministry is for. Those are who this ministry is for, hallelujah. Whether they be sinner or saint, Hallelujah. You told me to reach out, hallelujah, to reach the masses, and that's just what I'm doing. Lord, I thank you and I glorify your name for using this vessel to do your will, hallelujah. Lord, I ask you, those who are listening to this prayer tonight, hallelujah. Lord, encamp your angels around them, keep them safe, bless them, Lord, financially, spiritually, and health-wise, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, we pray, hallelujah, and I speak peace and shalom in their homes, Lord. Nothing missing, nothing broken, angels surrounding them and their families, their neighborhoods, their lots, their cities, their states, hallelujah, because they are there, they are safe, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, we pray. And we say, Amen. Saints of God, and don't forget um, my niece, Toddy, and going to GoFundMe, if you haven't did it already, and go and give her a little offering. Amen. Hallelujah. God will bless you for it. And don't forget our sponsor tonight is Webs by Steph. And you can look at our website. And, of course, she's updating She's updated it again, so go and look at reachingthemassesministry.com. That's reachingthemassesministry.com, and see what her latest thing is on there. And if you need a website, then contact her at reachingthemassesmediaministry at gmail.com and put attention webs by Steph. And she will contact you, and you too, you all can get together 
and she will do your website and she does a good job if you go to reaching the masses ministry dot com you will see the good work she does or you can also go to the divas in christ dot com amen and you can see another of her websites so go to those two and you can contact her like i said at reaching the masses media ministry at gmail dot com tonight i want to ask you where will you spend eternity? If you're not saved and sealed until the day of redemption, amen. Hallelujah. Speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance, been baptized in Jesus' name. Where will you spend eternity? There are only two places, heaven or hell. You make a choice tonight. Hallelujah. If you're not saved, you need to make that choice. Because if you look around you, everything. It's getting worse and worse. People are doing things now that they never did before. And I'm saying, my God, my God. But you know what? God tells the church, the ecclesia, the gathered ones, his children, not to fear. So I choose not to fear. I look at people like they nuts when I hear that stuff. And I'm saying, what? But I refuse to fear. Amen. Remember, when you're God's child, you don't need to fear. You've already won. Read the book of Revelation. Read the end of it. We already won, y'all. And he said that he will protect us. And guess what? You are protected tonight and every night, every day, every evening, every afternoon. Because if you belong to him, he said he would never leave nor forsaken you. And nobody and nothing can pluck you out of his hand. Amen. So rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Amen. Because God has already won the war. It's a fixed fight, y'all. It's already won. Go to the book of Revelation. And you'll find out what I'm talking about. There are things that's going to happen. But guess what? A lot of those things we're not going to be here for. Because he said he was going to take us out of the world for the um, his wrath to come. His wrath, which means his judgment, is going to come upon this world. But those who are here... Aaron's and join us with Christ. No, he's going to take us out of the world. If you go over some of the prayers that I pray, and I'll tell you and some of them exactly what he said. I choose to believe God. Hallelujah. And I know that when all that mess comes, it's worse enough now, but it's going to get worse. But when all the rest of that mess comes, we won't be here. We'll be over at the Lamb's Supper. Hallelujah. The Lamb's Wedding Feast in the name of Jesus. Have a good night, y'all. Peace, shalom, shalom. Nothing missing, nothing broken. God loves you, and so do I. Good night.